I know that some of my videos are geared more towards younger men trying to get some, but this video is for older men because you guys are also a pretty big part of my viewers and I wanted to just make a little something special for you. So I know that a lot of my older viewers are really interested in wanting some tips on how to find women who are wife material. And to clear it all up first, okay, a woman can be wife material and she can be play material. It kind of depends on her. And I feel like the majority of American women, and I'm saying American women because if you're in, you know, in the Middle East, their beliefs and their rules, for example, like premarital sex is like illegal. Like I think, I think you can go to prison in some of the countries over there. So I'm, I'm speaking, um, on American women. Now, American women, we like to be really young and wild and carefree and have fun in our youth. And when we are ready to settle down, when we have gotten that out of our system, as American men do also, then we are more ready to kind of find somebody like you, like like the, the guys that are requesting me to make this type of video. So you're wondering how to find a wife. And it's very different than trying to just find a, a girl who, who you want to, you know, mess around with and hit it and quit it. So for older men, I suggest you do basically the exact opposite of what I tell the young men to do. If you're an established older man, and by established I mean you have enough money to provide for a future wife and maybe future offspring, then you can start looking for a wife, okay? If you don't have these things, then don't bother. <laughs> I'm serious, don't bother. I feel like a lot of men have lowered their standards and a lot of men say, well, women should help too. And it's like, just because a woman can work doesn't mean she should and doesn't mean she should be expected to pay the bills. That is my traditional mentality. Some people love it, some people hate it. A lot of older men that write to me are established men. You know, you guys are wealthy men, you are millionaires. Some of you are billionaires, which is awesome. I feel like the established men that are looking for wives, you already know. That's why you are an older man, first of all. A lot of the, the men that are talking to me right now are, you know, 40, 50, 60. I have a 60, I think he was the 68 year old who got a hold of me. He's established. He said he didn't want children when he was younger. He thought about having children and he wanted children, but he decided not to, you know, because he knows that to be able to have a wife and a family, he needs to be able to first provide. So now that he's established, now that he's got his, you know, $2 billion business, um, he's able to, to pick a wife and now he's ready and now he's done playing games and sleeping around. He wants a wife and maybe even children. So what to do? What to do? Well, you should stay away from bars and you should stay away from clubs. Those women don't want anything serious. They may, they may be interested in you if you tell them how much money you have, but even then, young women don't care. You know, young women want to just have fun, sleep around, and see where life takes them. Very spontaneous. You should go to places where women have already done that. If you're going to bars and clubs, you're going to find young women that want to have fun and they are not on the same wavelength as you. You as an established wealthy man, especially the, the guy that told me, you know, he runs a $2 billion industry and you want a wife, then stop going there. Okay. You keep telling me that you're going to bars and clubs and you keep finding trash basically is, is what you call them. And I don't think that women or men that have, you know, a lot of sexual experience are trash. I think they're just young because that's what American young people do. Now, you want a classy woman. So I suggest to you that you go to high-end shopping centers. 
So I know from where I live, maybe about 45 minutes away is this gorgeous, gorgeous shopping center. And I've met a lot of famous people there. I've met a lot of basketball players. I've met a lot of, you know, ex um, NFL players. I've met a lot of politicians. I've met a lot of authors in that area. I've met a lot of people with, you know, um, million dollar law firms and such and such. There, the women are always very classily dressed because an established man cannot be seen walking around with a woman who is showing everything, you know, who, who is dressed in clothing slash bar clothing. He can't. So if you're looking for that type of classy woman, which I'm assuming you are, then go there. Go to those high-end shopping centers. Go to fine dining areas. I always like to, to suggest to establishment to look up you know, Michelin star restaurants in the area and make a reservation and go there alone. And a lot of the times you will see women who are there alone as well, especially during lunchtime. If you're going to a really nice bistro, then you can find women there. Also bookstores. I love going to bookstores. I they, You always meet interesting people there and you know that they're not only looking for sex. They're looking for something more. Usually older men are in nice bookstores. Um, to find women alone, it's also good to go during lunchtime, especially in Chicago. There's so many cafes. I love going down there during the spring because the cafes will pull up their tables and their sitting areas and their patio. So it's beautiful. You have, you know, beautiful breeze, beautiful weather, and you will always find women who are there a lot of the times during their lunchtime and they're enjoying a beverage and it's perfect for a man to just come along kind of start a conversation it's very easy it's you know it's a no pressure zone such as if you were at work so cafes high-end shopping centers sometimes even country clubs if you join a nice country club there's a lot of um young women still but just classier women or wife material. I like going to country clubs because there's always just this air of just everyone is so so classy and it's such a good vibe that you get from everybody and the majority of men that are there are there to look for young women and the young women that are there are usually there to look for an established older man who is willing to protect and provide so if you want a wife, stop making the mistakes that you're, you know, you're currently making. Stop going to bars, stop going to um, clubs and the online dating, some of you have asked about, I am hot and cold about that. I think it depends on the site. Personally, for me, I think that it's best to kind of meet people in person, so cafes. But those are my favorite bookstores, second favorite versus online because online a lot of people can be very picky without even meeting the person in you know first so when you meet a person and see them up close and you know you're able to to have a glimpse of their personality and see what they like see what they don't like and see how they drink their coffee and the, see what beverage they're enjoying it's a lot nicer it's a lot more alluring than meeting somebody just by a profile picture and a list of wants and don't want. So if you're into online dating, I always suggest make the conversation as short as possible and try to meet as soon as possible, especially for a dinner date. If you're, if you're really looking for a wife, go to a dinner date. Don't do coffee. I know a lot of men are, are tempted to say, well, let's just do coffee. Um, don't do coffee. It makes you look really cheap. And it makes you look like like you don't think that she's worth an entire dinner, that she doesn't deserve that much of your time and effort. So if you're looking for a wife and you already know what she looks like and you want to lure her in, always ask for a dinner date and kind of go from there. So I hope these tips work for you guys. I hope you guys all find the wives that you're looking for. Stay away from ours. That's all I'm going to say. Stay away from bars because you're not going to find what you're looking for there. That's my number one tip. Stay away from bars.